Hello and welcome to week six of the WCSL. This week we are versing the New England Dracoviches with the team of Evathol, Dusclops, Whimsicott, Tapu Lele, Gengar, Milotic, Durant, Jolteon, Flygon, and Leafeon. This team was actually originally dropped by the old uh, leader, I guess, coach. I don't know what you would call the, the person who has the team, but it was dropped by the old coach and picked up by a mutual friend of mine. Um, so that's cool. So we're going to be facing him. Um, he has swapped out, I think this used to be Escavalier, and this this used to be Gothitelle. So he swapped those two out. Both of those are actually very good against our team. Uh, I wonder why he got that. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, Durant has a good matchup against Xerneas, and um, uh, what's it called? Milotic has a good matchup against our two Intimidate users. So both very good picks versus us. Um, nonetheless, I think we can, we still got a good shot because we don't have to run Intimidate on our, um, Intimidate users. This one does have it, but this one doesn't. Um, I think Injustified Arcanine is, like, really good versus his team because it can one-shot Evil Tall. Uh, it can one-shot especially defensive Dusclops, which is what I think he's going to end up doing because a lot of these, well, I guess my team isn't that special. Yeah, really, it's only Xerneas and Ndidi that are special. Everything else on my team is physical. So, that's, but I mean, Xerneas is such a big threat that you kind of have to run some special defense. And I think the way the calc works out... Let me just do it real quick. Arcanine versus Dusclops. Quick calc on the fly. 250... No, we're not 252. We're like 236, I think. Uh, Adamant Nature, Flare Blitz. Dynamax plus 4... Destroying specially defensive, 252, bold. 70% uh, chance to KO physically defensive. That's pretty good. Um, so I'm completely satisfied with that. We have Wild Charge to one-shot Evil Tall. Uh, let's get back to it. One Wild Charge one-shots Evil Tall, one-shots Milotic. Um, and then we have Extreme Speed. So after we, after our max is gone, we can still hit like, Evil Tall to finish it off or something else on here. Could run Play Rough to hit Flygon. And also Evil Tall. I, I had to make the choice between running Wild Charge or Play Rough. And I think overall, Wild Charge is better because we can hit Jolt, not Jolt, yeah, no, we can hit uh, Milotic. We can hit Evil Tall with it. Because both of them are super effective against Evil Tall. So it's really do I want to hit Flygon or do I want to hit Milotic? And I think Milotic is more likely to come because I've got two Intimidate users. Flygon could still come. Um, it, it gets two shot by max strike either way. Um, if it doesn't, if he doesn't max, he just gets one shot. So he has, he kind of forces him to max Flygon. Um, I also like the fact that Wild Charge can change the terrain off of his psychic terrain. So that'll be interesting. Next up is Dragapult, which is our dedicated, uh, justified procker. Um, we're running specially offensive Dragapult. This outspeeds Gengar, I think. Yeah, that's Gengar. But it's a little bit faster than Gengar, I think, because I think Gengar hits 180, doesn't it? Uh, let's check. Gengar hits... Yeah, well, we need to be one, 179. What else? What is this outspeeding? Oh, maybe outspeeding Whimsicott is worthwhile. No. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. We have quick attack, so it's like not necessary. But we also have focus sash. What's Whimsicott hit? 184? Yeah, don't really lose anything by doing that. Um, we can't outspeed Jolteon um without going getting off modest but i really want to be modest because flamethrower one shots dynamax durant <laughs> it's crazy uh we'll outspeed it we'll one shot it very nice next up is xerneas this is actually somehow the most optimal spread for xerneas because this speed uh, ideally we want to be going before evil tall like my opponent has tailwind with whimsicott and when and evil tall so their their evil tall will probably be at plus two um, and we want to be able to outspeed it when we are at plus two from the Geomancy, so max speed is kind of uh, a given. Last week I didn't run max speed, and I'm kind of regretting it because uh, my opponent specced super hard into... Where's the team? Super hard into Hydreigon, and I was like, 
it's got 98 base speed. I'm like, okay, well, it's one point slower than Xerneas, and it's quad weak to it, so I'm like, I really don't think they're going to bring it, but they did bring it, and my Xerneas was slower than it, so I just kind of got destroyed. I don't think it really mattered because they had Tailwind and they had uh, Max Airstream and stuff, but you know what? I'm, it's better to be prepared for the Max Speed Evil Tall than to not be. Um, so we have that. Uh, this special attack is also optimal because this lets us one-shot Gengar with Moonblast if it's not sashed, and I don't think it's sashed because they have Whimsicott, which almost always wants a sash. Gengar will probably be Life Orb or Specs or something like that. Um, Tapu Lele could really run pretty much the same items as Gengar, but it can also run Scarf pretty well, which I think is very possible. Uh, next up is this Steelix, which I'm actually super proud of. It's max HP, and then this special defense lets us live a... Uh, it's a Life Orb Focus Blast from Gengar and Tapu Lele because they have the same special attack stat. Um, it can live Specs Focus Blast about 70% of the time when you factor in accuracy. Um, this this Iron Head is one-shotting... One-shots Tapu Lele, um, and I think it... To, oh, it probably one-shots Whimsicott, uh, assuming Sash is broken by something. That's why also I were running Quick Attack on Dragapult, because we could Flamethrower the Whimsicott, bring it down to Sash, and then kill it before it can get off of Fake Tears. And that's also why we have a White Herb on Arcanine, I forgot to mention. It's because last week, uh, I actually helped my opponent prep for his match last week, and um, he's, I'm like, yo, you can use Fake Tears Whimsicott with Evil Tall, and it's really good, because it can one-shot like a lot of stuff. Like, if we put Evil Tall in here real quick... Evil Tall. Give it Dynamax. This Max Darkness, uh, if he goes Modest, which I think is very possible. Max Darkness, if my Arcanine is at minus two. Well, I'll put the same special defense. My, he doesn't know how bulky my Arcanine is, but yeah, this is like almost guaranteed to one-shot my Arcanine Dynamaxed. So, like, if he, th he thinks I'm probably going to be running some speed in my Arcanine, but I'm not. So this White Herb lets me live, lets me avoid this, this situation where I get, like, destroyed by that. Um... So yeah, I helped him prep for his match last week, told him to do that, and he won the match. So there's a good chance he might do it again, because it's really strong. Uh, Whimsicott's just such a good Pokemon. One of the best picks, I think, in a draft league, because it can do so much. Uh, so that's Iron Head. Stone Edge is really, I think, just hitting Evil Tall. Um, yeah, I think it just hits Evil Tall. Um, I don't know. Maybe I, Maybe I want to run something else. I don't know. Maybe Ice... I don't think Ice Fang does as much, though, but Ice Fang does hit Flygon, and that might be worth running. Then we have Fire Fang, which is hitting Durant, and that... This Fire Fang one-shots non-Dynamax Durant, which is really good. So, like, if they've already used their max on Evil Tall or something, I can just come in, live any hit from Durant, and then kill it with Fire Fang. And Crunch, like, you might be thinking, well, Crunch hits Gengar, so just run high horsepower instead, but it also hits Dusclops, uh, and this... This attack stat lets us one-shot the Gengar, guaranteed. It's only a little bit more. I think it was, like, it's probably somewhere around here to one-shot Tapu Lele with the Iron Head, and then that's to one-shot Gengar. So I figured might as well run Crunch. And you also can't miss, which is nice. We have Sheer Force to boost up the power of Crunch, Stone, not Stone Edge, Crunch, Fire Fang, and Iron Head, which is cool, because the flinches aren't going to happen because we're slow. Next up is Gyarados. This is a potential max target if Arcanine doesn't go well. We can also max Steelix or Xerneas after it's Geomancy. I think those are both good maxes. Um, this speed lets us outspeed 119. What is that hitting? Wait, what is Gengar again? Did I f f scuff my Gengar thing? Gengar, 178? Yeah, no. I guess that's just hitting once. I guess that hits 180 at 1.5. 119 has 1.5. And that's that's speed tying Gengar. Hang on, do I want to? I should be faster than that, shouldn't I? Let's take. I need to take four out of here too. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll do one twenty times one point five. Yeah, one eighty. We do want to be faster than Gengar because I was originally faster than uh, Durant. But might as well be faster than Gengar too, right? It's only two. Ex it's only what eight extra EVs. Um, I don't think that HP changed anything. Yeah, so that's eight extra EVs to be faster than Gengar. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, we've got Bounce Max Airstream will like one shot this, one shot this, one shot this. I think it two shots this, but we also have Power Whip. I was considering dropping it for Ice Fang. 
uh, to deal with the Flygon better, but the Flygon can't really touch us back, um, like, at all. So I think ma just max Airstream is fine. And most importantly, these EVs let us kill Durant non- or, yeah, it lets us kill Dynamax Durant if we don't Dynamax. It's like we just gotta hit a Fire Blast. Alternatively, we can, uh, we can hit it. We can max and hit it with, um, Fire Blast at any point. Then we have Indeedy. Um, this is just really bulky. Like, initially you'd probably think, oh, Indeedy's not great versus this team because it's got Evil Tall. But then you look past Evil Tall, you see Dusclops. Uh, it's only attacking moves often, um, Nightshade. That's a ghost type move. Can't hit a normal type. Uh, Whimsicott's just got Moonblast usually. Um, we have... Um, we're running a, a max HP, good special defense with Psychic Seed to boost that special defense. It's basically like we're holding a second Assault Vest because we have our first one here, our second one's here. But we can also use uh, Status. And then, like, the Whimsicott can't lower our special defense with Fake Tears because it's priority and we're in Psychic Terrain. So we can 1v1 Whimsicott. Tapu Lele doesn't have any moves to hit us. It's just going to spam Psychic on us, but we can spam Mystical Fire on it and win the 1v1 as we lower its special attack. Gengar gets one shot by, um, what's it called? Um, Expanding Force. Milotic gets probably two or three shot by Expanding Force, but it's again, it's a special attacker. So unless we've somehow boosted it, uh, it's not going to hurt us back. Then Durant is one shot by, if they max and we use Mystical Fire, it gets one shot, um, which is crazy because this isn't like, that's not great special attack or anything, but Durant's actually just really specially frail. <laughs> like, I mean, if Gyarados can one shot it with this many EVs, well, this is, uh, yeah, this is maxed. This, Steelix is the one that isn't one-shotting it. It maxed, but that's because Steelix is a physical attacker. Um, Indeedy probably wins the 1v1 versus Flygon, or uh, Jolteon, uh, just because it's a special attacker. And, mm, don't know about Flygon. Probably. No, it's pretty physically weak, so probably loses to Flygon. If it's physical, it could be special Flygon. And probably loses to Leafeon. I don't know. But overall, it's just really good, especially versus Gengar. Um, Gengar's like the big thing, because I think they do bring Gengar, because it's very good against Xerneas. Um, just spec Sludge Bomb hits really hard. Uh, my team doesn't really have any Gengar. Like, none of these resist it except for Steelix, which, and like, I'm bringing Steelix for that reason, pretty much. So yeah, that's the team. Um, I expect my opponent to bring something along these lines with, uh, Durant, I think Durant definitely makes an appearance. They just picked it up this week, so um, and I've got probably the best fairy in the game, so Durant's a pretty given. Um, I think if they bring it, they probably max it, which is pretty good, because Yulthal's a really good max target, and if they don't max that, I'm pretty happy. Um, yeah, I think Life Orb probably. It could be Sash, but I really think Whimsicott runs the Sash. I, I, like, they've got a bunch of Sash Pokemon. Their team is also awkward because it's got Dusclops, which is a really good Trick Room setter, but they have no good Trick Room Pokemon. I think they could try to do Trick Room, um, but their Mons are all faster than mine, so I don't know. And I haven't run like any speed on any of my Pokemon except for Dragapult, Xerneas, and Gyarados because those are the three that like this one's gonna get boosted, this one gets boosted, and this one just needs to be faster than like Gengar and stuff to just do stuff. Um. Yeah, so I think they definitely bring this. Don't know if they bring... Like, maybe they'll just be there to scare Xerneas. I don't know. Uh, I don't think they lead it because, like, well, Arcanine's really good against it. If, even if they do lead it, I think they might just switch turn one. Like, if they lead... Like, uh, in in a previous league I've done, if when my opponent led Durant, we led our Incineroar, and then it just switched turn one and never came back in. So, who knows? Yveltal, uh, I think, definitely comes. I doubt it's going to be this speedy, though. I think it's probably going to be, like... I think I'll probably be modest, maybe enough speed to outspeed. No, 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 it'll probably still be jolly. It'll probably be jolly, or no, not jolly, timid. Timid with enough to outspeed uh, jolly Arcanine, which is probably somewhere around here. I don't actually know the number off the top of my head. I'm a fake a fake Pokemon player. Durant also might be, yeah, Durant's probably going to be max speed because it probably wants to be faster than Virizion, which is like somewhere in here. So it's going to be like either that or that. I don't quite know the number. Whimsicott, not rich reason to do anything other than just max uh, special attack, max speed. Um, Milotic, I think they probably don't do this bulky. They probably do something like this. I don't know. They'll probably optimize it. Uh, Gengar, I think Specs is uh, an option. It's actually not the best 
uh, versus the team that I've come up with where we use Steelix because uh, like the plan is if they're Specs and then they go for Specs Sludge Bomb on Xerneas, then they, that means they're now locked into Specs. They can't touch Steelix for the rest of the game, so we can just let Gengar sit there versus Steelix and not touch it, and then one view on the other side or whatever. Don't know if Gengar even comes. Maybe it'll just be uh, Dusclops. I don't, does Dusclops get Haze? Let's find out. Let's find out together. It does get Haze. Ooh. That's interesting. Okay. Got to keep that in mind. Then we got Tapu Lele. Um, don't know if this comes. It's pretty good, actually, because the Scarf is really fast. It could be... Oh, if Durant's Life Orb, it can't be Life Orb. So probably not Life Orb, unless they do something different on Durant. Akaberry here, maybe. It'll let it live anything except an Ar uh, yeah, Arcanine hit. Um... But yeah, that's about it. Uh, I, I I'm just now thinking of that haze, so that could be a that could be a threat. But I think if they lead Dusclops, we might just kill it turn one because that means if they've led Dusclops, that means that they can't have Whimsicott on the field. So we can just shoot down the Dusclops, live a move from the Evil Tall. I don't think I live two moves from the Evil Tall though. That's the problem. Evil Tall. Versus my Arcanine at normal. 14% chance to hit KO. I wonder if I can, like... Let's take these out. Take those EVs out. I wonder if I can, like, optimize this. Oh, I actually can. Wow. Hang on. Am I... It's 50.5. Come on, go down more. 50.2. 49.7. Okay. We're getting somewhere. 49.1. Is it just is it just optimal to do 250, 220? 47.6. Wow. That might be better. Does Arcanine need to take a physical attack? Let's check versus Durant. Let's go 252. Max Quake? We can live that easy. Oh, we're not Intimidate. We're not Intimidate. Oh, that's doing too much. <laughs> we want to be enough to where we can live that for sure. And then down here. Okay, now let's go back to Evil Tall. <gasps> Look at that. Guaranteed living two. And we live one Max Quake. I think that's it right there. That's what we want to hit. So it's 121 HP. Wait. Oh, we're hitting the number 121. Wait, are we? No, it's 120. I just said the wrong number. 124. And then that. Okay, I think we got it then. That's pretty good. Um, then we go Dragapult's fine. Yeah, because if they lead Dusclops, um, lead Dusclops plus... Uh, what's the guy's name? Evil Tall. Oh, but the issue is that... Oh, shoot. Because now we can't live after beat up damage. That's a shame. Yeah. That's a shame. Well, you know what? With, with, uh, with low rolls, we'll live. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't think there's a way to get these EVs more optimal, though. Because that's the only way to live both of them is... Well, we don't really need to live a hit from Durant, right? Because Dragapult will be faster. That's true, that's true. I don't know, we could play around it. But uh, that's it for the team building. Um, I'm going to hop right in the battle. All right, here we are. I've got the Gengar notebook all prepped up. We've matched with our opponent, I'm hoping. Uh, yeah, Rusty, that's him, yep. So let's get the pencil ready to write down what his team's looking like. I'll decide we'll use, I think it's these, six that set to level 50 allowed, yep, that's it, yep. Participating team, we're going to take our party, everything looks good. They have Dynamax candy this time, I forgot that last week, so we're good. Let's get, let's get Alina. Alright. 
Let's uh, turn off the webcam real quick. He's got Durant, Milotic, Yvatal, Whimsicott, Dusclops, and Tapu Lele. So, no Gengar. Um, that means that, actually, I think in the back, Ndidi could be pretty good. I think I'm, for the first battle, I think I'm going to lead these two. Because that's really good. Worst case scenario is, I think, uh, Durant's pretty bad. So I think I'm actually going to take this guy in the back. And then I think we'll lead, I think, Xerneas in the back. How good is Steelix? Steelix is like... Yeah, not great. I think uh, Gyarados in the back's better. The thing is, do we want Ndidi in the back? Because Ndidi's good against Lele, uh, Dusclops, and Milotic to an extent. I think this is fine. Oh, I'm a bit nervous about this. Alright, let's put that webcam back on. Forgot that the first time. Phew. Is he going to run out of time? Oh, he got it. He got it in. So the Durant lead is scary. Evil Tall, Whimsicott might be the best. Leviathan, Marcella. Oh, interesting. Uh, I really wish I had... I wish I had kept Wild Charge. I actually replaced Wild Charge out for um, something else this time. So, if I Dynamax, actually play rough one-shots Milotic unless he maxes it too. So I think we might just go for that. Go for the max Starfall onto the Leviathan. Yeah, that's not bad because he can't do much back to our Arcanine. Go for max Starfall. And then go for beat up onto the Arcanine. Is that how bad is that? Um, how much is his max max guys are going to do to us? Fifty. What about Hydro Pump? Not enough. What if he's modest? Yeah, he'll two shot us. Yeah, I think we're gonna go for that. He has to max. So we're faster. What if he's bold? Bold 252. He can live play rough if he's, if he's fully physically defensive. But that means that he would not have much special attack and he can't two shot us at that point. Fake tears? Okay, that's what we have the white herb for. So Wimsicott has fake tears. So we should just kill Milotic before it can move, right? Because we were faster than it. Unless he's got speed EVs. This should just kill, unless he's like huge special defense, or physical defense, my bad. It did kill, okay good. So Melodic is slower, slower than Arcanine. We have Misty Terrain up, so no status can come out. Good thing, I'm really glad I decided to swap that out um, for... Because I, I I originally had the... What's it called? The Wild Charge to one-shot the Milotic. But then I realized that, hey, at plus four, uh, Max um, Starfall probably kills it too. So this turn, if he sends in the Evil Tall, um, I think I just... 
max guard on the fake tears. Because he might just double into me. Elaine. Tapu Lele, okay. So I'm wondering... He probably is fast, right? Well, he can't fake tears me, right? Tapu Lele? Tapu Lele. Uh, let's check choice specs. That's probably the worst. No, because he can't max these choice specs. Let's do Life Orb. Life Orb max Psychic is doing 50% because he can't fake tears me anymore because it's in Psychic Terrain. So I think we can just go for Max Flare onto this guy, right? We should be able to live any hit from it. And then I think we could Flamethrower the Whimsicott. Or do we want to set up... Is it worth killing the Whimsicott? Or should we set up... Light Screen. I think let's set up Light Screen. Yeah, that should let us live two Psychics. Yeah, let's go for that. I wonder if the Tapu Lele Max is here. He can't go for Fake Tears, so he's probably going to go set up Tailwind here. It is Tailwind, okay. We could have uh, Max Guarded there. Let's see if it's Choice Specs. It's setting up Reflect, okay. So it, the Tapu Lele dies here. Let's put write that down. Tapu Lele has Reflect. Tailwind. Max Flare should kill it. Okay, instead, no Sash there. It's probably at Light Clay then, because the Whimsicott probably has the Sash. Is this Yveltal coming out? I, I think it probably is. No Yveltal, wow. So th this is definitely going to Dynamax. Uh, he can't kill my guy, even with Max Stomping Tantrum. Oh, actually he can, if he gets a high roll, because we have taken beat up damage. Uh, I think we just go for the Max Flare on it, though. Actually, no. Yeah, let's just double into it. Um, just guarantee it goes down. It's probably gonna max guard here, but he can't kill us both with Whimsicott. And he can't fake tears anymore under, uh, Psychic Terrain. So no Yveltal, that's interesting. I guess he was scared of Xerneas. Uh, this is probably max guard. No, Max Quake. Okay. So that if he gets a high roll, he kills our um, Arcanine. He did land the high roll. And here comes Flamethrower from Dragapult. Oh, yeah. I haven't been keeping track of kills. I think Arcanine got two. Because Arcanine killed Milotic and Tapu Lele. And Dragapult's going to get one, I think. It, assuming this kills. Life Orb. Uh, where is it? And it's either Dig or... It's either Dig or... Um, stomping Tantrum. They have the same base power, so I don't know which one it is. Probably Stomping Tantrum. But I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna write Ground. And then let's bring in... Let's bring in Xerneas, so he doesn't know uh, if our Gyarados is Moxie or Intimidate. He knows we're white or uh, white herb. Let's not reveal uh, if we're. Let's just use dazzling gleam so that he won't know that we have moon blast, and we're gonna go for flamethrower. Oh well, what is the whimsicott revealed? Um, it's got taunt, taunt, and moon blast. So Xerneas takes one too. That's game one. Okay. So we know all four of the Whimsicott's moves. Uh, Fake Tears, Tailwind, Taunt, Moonblast. Tapu Lele has only revealed Reflect, and the Durant has a ground move and a Life Orb. So what's he going to do differently? Does he lead Durant this time? No, there's no way he leads Durant. Play with the same rules, yeah. There's no way he leads Durant again. Because, um, like, he would have to lead Durant Whimsicott, in which case he has to Tailwind, and then Max Quake my Arcanine. But I could just protect Arcanine and um, kill it with Dragapult. Oh, I can't kill it with Dragapult. 
because it would have a special defense boost. I could switch in Gyarados though, because that means he's not leading Milotic. That's what I'm going to do. So let's, let's keep going. So he's going to... What is his best lead versus me? Eviltal maybe? But my, my lead's prepared to deal with the Eviltal Whimsicott, which I think is probably the best lead. Um, well, that was the most likely lead that I was expecting. The Dusclops could come, um, and Haze. So I'm definitely leading these two again. So, if he leads the Durant, I think switching into Gyarados is a good idea. So I think I am going to have Gyarados in the back again, and I'm going to take, uh, Xerneas in the back too, I think. Do I need Xerneas? He didn't bring Eviltal last time. Xerneas is my only real answer to Eviltal. But if he... Hmm... Um, Steelix just wins the 1v1 versus the Whimsicott. Because it doesn't have any moves. The Durant can hit it, though, with uh, ground. I was wondering if he's going to run rock, ground, or both. And it looks like he has ground at least. I think this is fine. We're going to go with this again, I think. He has to change up his lead, because that lead last time was not, uh... Or either max... Either do that or max the, um... Milotic. Hmm. It is the my life. Okay, it's evil tall. So I think we're safe. I don't think because he can't fake tears us. He can't. Dark aura. Oh, I don't have any abilities to reveal. Okay. Um, do we just max Starfall the evil tall, or do we expect him to max guard the evil tall turn one? Or do we expect him to Moonblast his own evil tall, activate weakness policy, and destroy us? We could- we could just... Do we max guard? And then activate light screen? Or do we just kill it? Dude, if he- if he actually does the thing where he... So what do we lose by max guarding here? Um, he gets up Tailwind for free, if he goes for it. I think we just max. I think we're gonna go for the safe play of just max Starfall. But if he does, if he does what like there's a there's a play in the back of my head that he could make, where he moonblasts his own evil tall to activate weakness policy and then kill my Arcanine because that goes through the um, that goes through. Oh, he's not maxing. Okay, that would go through um, uh, what's it called? Um, because I have White Herb to prevent him from fake tearsing me, but the if he's activated weakness policy, that's still plus two. And he goes ignores the white herb pretty much. So if he does that, he's crazy. He is going for fake tears. Okay. Oh, I'm clear body. <laughs> Wait, that's crazy. It doesn't matter. I'm sashed also. <laughs> Wait, his evil thought was faster than my Dragapult, right? That means it's scarfed. Evil tall. Scarf evil tall. Wow. So if I leave it alive, if I had left it alive, I could just send in Xerneas and never take any damage from it. So the evil thought goes down here. Uh, we're up to. What did I go for? Did I go for um? I went for uh, fairy, right? Yeah, I did. So that's gonna take out Evil Tall. That means Arcanine gets another KO. He still has something in the back that can max. Uh, it's probably Durant again, if I had to guess. Could be Milotic. But, I mean, we, we kill Milotic. The only threat is really Durant and then getting a high roll one shot on us. He is Life Orb. It is, I think Kevin. Oh, it's Kevin Durant. <laughs> that makes sense. Um. He didn't get Tailwind up, right? I think we... I think the safe play is to Max Guard and Flamethrower. No, is, I think it's safer to double into Durant, I think. Because... Wait, how can I go back to Arcanine? There we go. 
Because if he... So first of all, he needs a high roll to get this kill anyway. Um, so... He could predict that I'm going to macro go to Arcanine and kill my dra Dragapult. And then I'm in a really bad situation where he can kill both of them. But, so like, the play for right here... Because he can't kill both of us. Um, his Whimsicott is slower than Dragapult. Uh, and his Durant. So, like, either way, he loses Durant here. I think. It is maxing, okay. Oh. Actually, I just thought of something. If he goes for Arcanine, hits the max quake, gets the high roll, and then gets the special defense boost to live, then we're in a bad spot. Not the worst, though. Because then we can send in, uh, Ar uh, Gyarados. So what's the Whimsicott doing? The Whimsicott needs to Tailwind here. It didn't, okay. Okay, Dragapult gets another one. And then the Max Flare goes into Whimsicott. Very good, very good. So we lose Dra Dragapult here. Uh, is that, this is our second turn of Max, we got another one. We can find out if the Whimsicott sashed or not. It doesn't, I, I don't think this is going to another game now. It is, okay. Uh, we're going to bring out Palutena again. Um, we're not in Psychic Terrain, so he can taunt us. So I think the safest place is to just go for Dazzling Gleam. And then there's Milotic, which we are just going to... Um, uh, Max Starfall, I think. And then we're going to go for the Dazzling Gleam to clean up both of them. Should be Taunt, probably. Oh, it's Tailwind. Oh, that makes sense. So he's going to go for Tailwind and maybe Hydro Pump or Scald, but we're in Sun, so it's not going to kill my Arcanine. And we're super, like, this Arcanine is super specially bulky. It can tank two, uh, two max darknesses from Evil Tall. So that chip is good. That means Xerneas gets two kills this battle. And Arcanine's gonna get four. So that's four, six, seven. Wait, no, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's all, that's all eight. All right, let's tell my opponent GG. Ah, <sighs> that was a good battle. Um, yeah, I think I just had kind of good positioning overall, um, to where, like, the, like, when he had the Durant in, he, um, he either had to go for Tailwind, like, he couldn't kill both my Pokemon in the position he was in. He needed to Tailwind and then get the read right, but then the way I had set it up was that I was attacking with both of them, so no matter what, the Durant lit killed, was killed. Um, worst case scenario in that turn was he killed my Arcanine, he got the high roll and killed my Arcanine with Max Quake. Um, then he got the special defense boost, which let him live the flamethrower from Dragapult. And then that was the best situation he could have been in. And then he would have had to kill my Dragapult next turn with Whimsicott, and then kill my Gyarados with... He also had to have Max Rockfall to kill my Gyarados, uh, which is another thing to note. Uh, if he didn't have Max Rockfall, then I was in a... Uh, I probably had won that. I'm actually going to max it. Ask him. Did you have... Max Rockfall on Durant. Uh, but overall, that was a that was a good set. Uh, very well played by my opponent. Um, so if you enjoyed, leave a like, uh, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next week. Take care.